Hello there, and once again I'm playing around with Archimedean Solis in Fusion 360. This is the truncated cube octahedron, and the one you're seeing here is done with uh, construction planes and lofts. That's one way to do it, but I like to do the things I'm doing with different shapes that are intersecting to get the final body. And the thing we're going to start sketching is basically this face. I'm going to sketch the octagon and then project the lines out to make the outer perimeter of the body. So let's start doing that. We are starting with the sketch here. Of course, in circumscribe polygon, eight sides, wrong place, eight. Sometimes I hit the wrong buttons. We're going to remove that dimension and constrain this line horizontally. We can make all of this construction geometry. Construction geometry, thank you. We are going to make now two lines. I'm going to make sure we get horizontal and perpendicular, so they are perpendicular to each other. We are going to make them construction geometry. We are going to make them equal. So let's move these lines into the octagon. We're going to do midpoint constraint of this line and this corner point and then the same thing here when we are done that they are locked together good now we're going to create the lines for the outer perimeter of the first sketch so I'm going to start somewhere here I try to avoid I can use the constraints but yeah this, I don't like doing that I prefer doing it like this yeah it still makes it parallel yeah that's okay we are going to make sure that this line is a coincident with that point and that line with that point. Then we're going to make this line parallel to that. And that shoots it away too far, so let's start the other way. We're going to make it equal first, so it doesn't, it can't shoot it away. Now we're going to make it parallel, so it can't do much more. Uh, it looks like it's constrained, but we can still move these around. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to constrain that vertically there and that horizontally there. By doing that uh, everything is connected. Nice! <coughs> now we're going to do a circular pattern so we don't need to do the whole thing. These three lines and the center point is yeah, the center point we need it four times. And by that we have our base and now we're going to start doing the sketches for the octopolygons that are truncating this body. So we're going to start with a polygon. We are going to do center point, drag it out, make sure it gets four sides. We're going to lock it in by constraining it horizontally. And then the distance from this side to this side is the same as the distance from the center point out of octagon. So we're going to do a line from here to here. Make sure it is a construction line. Then do another line from here to here. Make it construction. I prefer that. Choose these two lines and make them equal. And now we have starting to get things connected. Oh. Now we're going to do another thing. I forget to dimension these things. I want a dimension from this point to this point. And let's make it 100 millimeters. By doing that, um, the fusion, I think fusion gets a bit easier to do with the math. So that's that. And now we're going to do the second square for the second octopolygon. Center point. We need four sides. Put it like that. We are going to turn it around a bit. We're going to constrain this point horizontally or vertically, any way you want, to that midpoint. But now we need to get how far away this needs to be from the side of this here. And that is a bit strange. We're going to start by doing a line from the midpoint out to the side. And that got really wrong. Let's go back line midpoint from there or center point and out to there we're gonna constrain it oh sorry make the construction line uh, we're gonna use this line as a dimension line now for the next thing we're doing we are gonna do a line from midpoint here I'm just gonna pull it somewhere out here 
and I'm going to go back and I'm going to into the midpoint of this side. I'm going to make all of these lines construction lines so we don't obscure when I'm doing things later. And this line needs to be a normal to this line or more perpendicular constraint. This line here needs to be the same length as the one we did earlier here. So you're using this length of a midpoint to the side of this kind of thing like that and we need to make this line and this line collinear so we can't move it around now we can still move this around and the last constraint we're going to do we're going to take this line and coincide it with the corner here now we have to have everything we need so the last thing we're going to do we're going to constrain midpoint of this side of a square to this point now we have all the sketches in here and now we start doing the sketches for the height of the truncate cube octahedron. Let's do it like that. Turn it up. We're going to do some projections. I like to project the center point, the side of this body, the side of this square, and the point out there. Of course, we do circles. You have seen earlier videos. I love doing circles. Do a circle like that. A circle to that one and circle to that one and we're going to line the first line of course of the center body and this is going to be a real line constrained vertically or horizontally and then I will just do uh, do this a bit of bad on purpose now like that we're going to make both these, both these construction geometry as I don't want fusion to confuse itself when, when we're doing sweep and we're going to constrain these vertically so everything is locked down and we're going to finish sketch and now we start with a sweep we're going to take this profile and sweep it along this path that's why i made these constructions so it doesn't sweep it too far away it doesn't matter because we're going to, no it matters it needs to be like that <coughs> and then i'm going to turn off bodies make a loft and we're going to start with a square that connects to the first circle so we need a center profile we need that profile and that is connected to that square and when we follow the circle up and that point and now we can't see the bodies we're going to turn on bodies and of course it's wrong we want intersect let's do that and then we are going to do a second loft we're going to turn off the body again now we are playing around with the outer circle so we're going to do this this profile and then the corners out here we're going to follow the circle up to here, turn on bodies, it wants to cut again, and I, as you can see here now, it's trying to cut off the corners. So what we're going to do is intersect, turn it off, turn off the sketches. We are going to do a mirror as we are done just half. Make sure pattern type are bodies, mirror plane, the bottom flat surface, and as a finish off, I'm just going to combine the two bodies to one body. So that is the truncated cube octahedron. We're going to check the measurements. We made these two sides 100 millimeters apart. If we want to, we can go back to the first sketch and see if we can change these two. Uh, I'd like to change it downwards. That's most often where everything crashes. So we're going to do it uh, 68 millimeters. And go back and check that everything works. We're going to take that side. That's 68 millimeters, and we can of course also check the edges that they are the same. 17.72, 7.72, and yeah, any other side I choose, look at they have the same length. So that was the cube, or sorry, truncated cube octahedron. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.